Hi, everybody. Everybody's looking good today. We want to welcome you. This is the Global Watch International Call. It is April 12th, 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. And this hour is the Israel Watch, which we have every week with Karen Davis and David and Josie Silver leading. And this is going to be a great hour. I have a great sense of anticipation with God that you're going to move in an unprecedented way. And, uh, and we just welcome you, Holy Spirit. We just, um, we just speak a blessing over Karen and over David and Josie, Amen. over the three of you who are amazing uh, people of God who love the Lord, love Yeshua, and are dedicated to his purposes. We just declare God's favor surrounds you, all the three of you, as with a shield. We declare that he is speaking to you wisdom, um, we, you just say, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know. Thank you, Lord, that their ears are attuned to your um, voice and their eyes are seeing what it is that you're doing these days. And um, we thank you for the relationships that they have with each other. We just say those relationships are growing and they're going to be stronger than ever. And uh, we just thank you, Lord, that they have renewed strength and that no weapon formed against them will prosper. And, uh, and um, we just declare that the joy of the Lord is their strength. We just say thank you, Yeshua, Amen. in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Fred. And Sue, and I am very excited, just like I think all of us. Um, I, I'm really blessed because a lot of our intercessory team from Israel are here on this call. I really, this is the last time we're going to have a, a Zoom call with us before you're many of you are going to actually be standing on the mountain with us next week in fact i wanted to say that um that next week's israel watch at 3 p.m we are going to live we those of us all of you global watch people who will be with us on top of the mountain we're having a pre-summit worship intercession um, the summit itself actually starts Thursday morning, but on Wednesday, since we have this Israel watch, we want to still, we want to do it, uh, and we want to do it together, um, uh, and so we're going to uh, do the live stream on YouTube. It's going to be an unpublished link, which I will put in the signal groups so that everybody, in, you know, in this network and and other prayer networks that want to join us can be on. Um, mm -hmm. That's what we'll be doing, so it's amazing. We're actually going to be face to face and um, with many of you, so many of you. And those of you that can't make it, you're with us in spirit. We're, we're going forth together <laughs> in the unity of the spirit. So amen, hallelujah. Amen. hallelujah. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, we, you know, we today, actually, for those of you, most of you may be aware, today is the last day of the Passover holiday, yeah. and it is a national holiday. So um, again, it's like a Sabbath. Um, it's everything is quiet. We had an incredible rainstorm in the middle of the night last night that I, I wasn't expecting. I don't know who was, but uh, um, and the rain has been coming down like all day. And it's in and here on Carmel, it's been very gentle and just like saturating. I found myself just sitting on my balcony this morning watching the rain and saying lord saturate my soul <laughs> let the north wind blow let the, awake oh north wind awake oh south and blow upon my garden so lord I, i'm just you know really um urging all of us as much as we can to you know really be soaking in the presence of the lord in the midst of our busy lives even before we come into the summit so that we come really full and overflowing so um the Lord dropped in my, so we're going to, I do want to pray. I know you have been praying in other watches for the summit itself, but I just thought this is an opportunity for, for those of us on the team here to be praying with all of you, um, you know, before you get on your planes <laughs> and uh, fly here next week. Um, but to, for the opening worship today, just by the spirit, the Lord reminded me of an, a song that I haven't heard or listened to in quite a long time. And it's Barry and Batya Siegel's song, On Your Walls, O Jerusalem, I Have Set Watchmen. And it's it's Isaiah 62, 6, word for word, the scriptures, mostly in English, but some uh, Hebrew keywords. And uh, it's a beautiful video. And I felt like it would it, it will set the tone. It's really, you know, why we're all coming together next week. So Susan, could you play that? 
Oh, I, d I don't have the link. Um, yeah, I sent it. Oh, I sent it to you in the signal on Zoom. <laughs> okay, uh, just keep praying. I'll have it up in a second. Okay, okay. Uh, now, are Josie and David up on yet? Or David is. Okay, uh, David, are you hearing us? Yes, yes we're both here. We had a problem you. with sound on my computer. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, you I'm may have an. Be careful you don't have an echo between the two of you. Okay, does that sound good? I, I I've got it up now. Okay, we're going to show, we're going to play the video now and be blessed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it needs to be from the very beginning, if you can. Yeah, right. I will. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I didn't look at my messages this morning. <laughs> I know, I overloaded you, Susan. I realized uh, that's okay. 30 in the morning. <laughs> Here we go. This is a powerful song. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, wow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. I just, <laughs> this is the word of the Lord to us right now. Um, and um, wow, you know, I'm, I know you've all been watching the news. Everybody knows what's been going on in Israel and you know, how we've been um, dealing with uh, almost daily terror attacks and murders and uh, the tragedies, uh, you know, of the people that have, have been murdered and uh, even missile attacks from the north. And uh, we know that our enemies are plotting an evil thing. And um, Iran is still very much uh, an, an octopus that's, you know, orchestrating our enemies on our borders. So um, this is this is the reality. I mean, I, it just, you know, hearing those prayers at, at, at the opening of that video and they're, they're singing Hoshana, Hoshana, you know, Lord, save us, Lord, save us crying out. And our people are crying out. And, and I'm just so thankful that the Lord is sending you next week mm -hmm. and the others that are coming um, because we must, we need you to be holding our hands so that we can mm -hmm. continue to stand in the gap as a remnant in the nation and with the authority. And I, I, as I said earlier, the rain came down this morning and the Lord took me to Psalm 68, where he says, um, you know, Lord, you, you sent a, a plentiful rain when your congregation was weary um, to refresh us, you know, and, and our nation is weary. We're weary and our enemies know that. And we know, you know, there's been so much, uh, internal division, and uh, so the we know that uh, the nations, are, our enemies, are plotting. But the Lord says it's a vain thing. Why do they rage and plot a vain thing? <laughs> but the Lord sits in the heavens and He laughs. Um, but uh, we we may be facing. Um, I don't think next week, but after you're gone, we may have some very very difficult situations with war here. So. Um, that you know, I feel like we should pray into some of that. I'm going to hand it over to Josie right now, maybe to uh, to begin to open with her and, and David Silver's on as well, um, as we can um, really leave room for uh, Dahlia. Did you want to say something? Your hand is raised, or was that just an accident? I just I don't know if she. Did you I just say amen. I raised my hand to agree and say amen. Oh, okay. You've got an icon that says raise hand. <laughs> <laughs> on this on this call, it means you have something to, that you want to pray on, but we'll call on you later. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, Josie, go ahead. Okay. So you can, can you hear me? First of all, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm on my phone, which I don't like usually doing Zoom meetings on my phone, but I have to. We had a problem with my computer with the sound. So I very quickly set up here. Um, it's good. You can hear and you can see and I can see. And I just wanted to start off by agreeing with you, Karen, about the rain. It's just been absolutely beautiful and a, a rich blessing. And, you know, as I was sitting watching it from our salon, I thought, God knows every drop that we need before he turns the tap off. And today has definitely been a day of a plentiful rain. I think during the night as well, although I didn't hear that. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. You know, there's the song about the goodness of the Lord. It says, I love this line. It says, I see the evidence of the goodness of God. And we see today the evidence of the goodness of God. And we, we see it every day here in the land. But rain is such a rich blessing. It equals life. 
and we're just grateful for it. And so we see the evidence of the goodness of God here on this mountain. And uh, yeah, I wanted to start off really just to launch the prayer because we are going to be praying for um, all of you coming. Agree with Karen again, we can't do this without you. Israel can't do it without the other side of the family. And this, for you to actually come physically, you know, your prayers are powerful when you're in the nations, but when you're gonna come here and stand with us physically, on this mountain, on a high place, that God always loves to do great things in high places, uh, to join together in the oneness of the one voice and the unity. You know, the beginning of that song that um, was played, Karen and everybody, it had such, it had that ancient sound about it, which I really love. There's such an authenticity about it from, from of old or ancient Israel and I heard it in the Berkat Kohanim, which was a few days ago at the, the Kotel, where the, all the Jewish people come together and they pray the priestly blessing. And the, I heard the same sound. It was like ancient Israel. It's got transported back. And there's something about it that there's a, there's a power in it. And I believe that there's an ancient sound going to go up today. And there's an ancient sound that's going to go up from this mountain when you're here with us. Uh, that's going to be heard from this covenanted land. And I just want to say very briefly about the speech that the father made of the, the, his murdered family. It's beyond words to, for any of us, I think, even to try and identify with the loss. But uh, nonetheless, we stand, we do understand what it feels like to be in a land where terror just strikes us over and over again, it has done for decades. Uh, so we can identify from that point of view. Uh, but just, you know, he spoke about in his speech, he spoke about making a difference, standing for life or death, evil or good, because evil equals death and life, um, good equals blessings or life. And when he spoke about that, I thought about in Exodus 11, I think it is maybe, where that was the, the death of the firstborn. And God goes on to say in the, that chapter, he said, I make a difference or I differentiate between um, Egypt and Israel. Egypt, of course, was representing evil and death. They wanted death for us as a people, whereas God was wanting life for us. He wanted to bring us out, redeem us, save us, and give us life and blessings. And I just, I just felt the heart of God coming through what he was saying and I put that together with in fact it was good that you that hand bit that you did Dahlia I love that because it's just about what I'm going to bring in with what I've just said you know when Mo Moshe's hands were raised things happened and of course um, that happened for the exodus the opening which was for salvation and then of course when he was um, they were fighting the Amalekites. He, he had to raise his hands again to have a victory, but his hands grew weary. So Aaron and her to come in and stand up at something about the hand. You know, the ha when his hand was lifted, it says he, the Lord became um, the Lord, my, my miracle. In the English, it says banner. And when we think of banner, we think of flags and that's all good. But in the Hebrew, it says miracle. Miracles happen when we lift up our hands and, we're going to be lifting up our hands together. And this is where you come in as the nations. You're coming in to help us keep our hands up. And I believe great and mighty things are going to happen when you are here with us, when we can literally together stand joining hands and hands. And even maybe we do a prophetic act of just lifting our hands up with the word of God. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> stand up and things are going to happen. Miracles are going to take place. It's going to avert evil and good things are going to happen. So I was just really blessed by all of that. And uh, yeah, so Abba, we just want to thank you, Father God, for the miracle, um, Lord of, of Israel. <laughs> you, Israel is destined, Lord, for um, greatness. Israel is destined for um, blessings. Israel is destined for um, salvation, Israel is covenanted 
to you. And we stand that covenant today in the power of your, of your word. And so, Father, we just thank you that we can open up this platform today and the ancient sound will go forth from Israel and around the nations and it will come before your ears. And we thank you that you will answer us in a day of trouble and you will do the miracles and the wonders that you want to do, even in the face of our enemies. Amen. So, uh, shall we just open it up, Karen, for anyone who wants to just come in and pray? Maybe, Sue Rowe, do you have something you want to say before we, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Um, and Josie, as you were saying that, I feel like that the, the rain that you're getting is supernatural. And we were just in uh, the river walk this past Sunday and uh, the river, which has been without water, I don't know how many years, Fred, but it's overflowing now. And they're concerned about the meltdown of the, we have 400% over normal rain this year. And that is just blowing me my my mind. I, I don't know what you're saying, but now to see that you're getting this rain, I was drawn to um, 1 Kings 17.1 when Elijah first spirit is, appears on the scene. Mm. And he says to Ahab, there's not going to be any rain until I say so. Mm. And then, you know, a couple, you know, a few verses later, that's three years on down, three or four years down the line, uh, the word of the Lord comes to Elijah, you will see here it rain and the, the bales come down and all of a sudden there's rain. So I believe this is a spiritual sign that we all need to pay attention to Amen. and, and call on our faith that we approach this without fear. It would fear of the Lord definitely, but not fear of man that we approach it under the fear of the Lord and not presuming what we say, but put what we say before the Lord. And that that as we agree that God will God will do exceedingly abundantly things more than we can ever think or imagine. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's running through my mind with this rain uh, is that th there is a part in the prayer streams in America we're all fighting for the return of you know the, the restoration of America, which we should do. But, you know, when Nehemiah built the wall, he said, take a tool in one hand and a weapon in another. And, and then build, rebuild the walls. But I feel like we need to understand the weapon of our warfare now. And that we not be caught blinded by just contending for the way that things were but how we could press into the future because it's not going to be easy, any one of us. Unless we lose heart, we need to understand that we may be like the Jeremiah's who are going down with the nation under judgments, but we must not lose heart because there's a bigger picture unfolding. Mm -hmm. There's a restoration message that's ultimately going to win. But God's looking for the strength of his ecclesia to stand together in days of adversity. So um, I'm kind of all the, the lollipop <laughs> the stage of, yes, we're going to turn America into, wait a minute, how do we turn into the face of God? So that's what I have to say. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shoshana. Yes, um, the last days, Zechariah 9 was very much on my heart in the church, uh, but uh, German. <laughs> um, and it was 9 9 to 10 1. And this morning we had the German wash and it came again, and I was reading it, and then I got stuck on 10 1. Um, and this is all about. Um, this is a parallel to the, the Jesus coming on the donkey and saving his people. And then later on, um, I don't read everything because it's too long. 
um, um, uh, and the Lord, like 916, and the Lord that God shall save them on that day with the flock of his people, for they are like the jewels of a crown, displayed and glittering in his hand, in his land. For how great is God's goodness, and how great is his beauty, and how great he will make Israel goodness and beauty. Rain and new wine will make the young men and virgins flourish. And then 10. Ask for rain from the Lord at the time of the spring rain. It is the Lord who makes the thunder clouds, and he will give them showers of rain, grass in the field to everyone. And for me, it was like, in the morning I was thinking, okay, if it's raining, this is like a, if it's raining in Israel, then it's like a, promise and uh, like affirmation that God is really going to protect the land and hold everything together and is going to break the arrest of the enemies. And when you share this, <laughs> I didn't have time to, to look up on the weather, weather broadcast. Shoshana, Shoshana, why don't you just pray into that? Yeah. And then we'll move it on to Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you that you are the one who promised your people to protect them and that you are going to break the arrow of the enemies and that you are going to shatter them by your thunderstorms and by your power and might. And I thank you, Lord, for this affirmation of rain this morning that you really um, affirm the people of Israel, that you are standing with them, that you are with them, that you are going to protect them, that they are your jewelry in your hand, and that you are going to make, to make them very precious in the sights um, of the enemy. And I thank you, Lord, that you are going to glorify yourself in this situation, that we are not weary and that we are not anxious, that we are joyful in you because we know you are the one who is rescuing us. And you did it already through Jesus, through Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Shoshana. Uh, Dahlia, go ahead. I'm in awe of the time, uh, being the last day and a holy day of Pesach. Uh, and as we're coming, the Elijah journey, as we're coming in on Yom HaShoah, and we're going to have the 75th Israel independence that hits <laughs> Lord it's so much we just have so much to praise you for and the in the new month of ER coming to hope oh, we're going to celebrate Lord so I just want to say Adonai heal our healer Rafa Adonai Nisi our victory I want to proclaim Adonai year our provider over this year Lord and 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 as you're sending the rain oh Lord we, we praise you and it comes to my mind for this last day of um, Pesach the harvest. Psalm 126. Hallelujah. Praise God. When Adonai restored Zion's fortunes, we thought we were dreaming. Our mouths were full of laughter. Our tongues shouted for joy. Among the nations, it was said, Adonai has done great things for them. Adonai did do great things with us, and we are overjoyed. Return our people from exile, Adonai, as streams fill bodies in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will weep with cries of joy. He who goes out weeping as he carries his sack of seed will come home with cries of joy as he carries his sheaves of grain. Lord, we're, we're lifting up the harvest now, Lord, and we're so thankful we see the signs. Lord, all over Israel, Lord, on this last day of Pesach, your victory we're proclaiming, Lord, your provision, Hallelujah, your strength, your banner of victory. We love you and we praise you and we thank you for the harvest, Lord, souls, Lord, during this season. Hallelujah. In Yeshua's name, our Amen. Pesach lamb. Amen. Amen. So good. Thank you, Dahlia. Go ahead, Virginia. Uh, yes, rejoicing in the rain, both here in California. So really, the Lord is so good. But I wanted to just quote and pray into a scripture in Luke 1, 17, when the, what the angel said to Zechariah, 
about the spirit and power of Elijah, about the prophecy about the as yet unborn John the Baptist, because the angel went on to say, to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And I feel that is so relevant for us That's in so the coming summit, but also more generally, both here and in the rest of the world. And as Josie said, we cannot do anything without you. So Lord, I want to pray that you will release something at the Elijah Summit that will also turn the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous and to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Lord, it says elsewhere that you will rain righteousness on us. So I pray that you will release greater righteousness in this land and beyond during the summit and indeed after that. So I pray these things for Shem Yeshua. Amen. Thank you so much, Virginia. Um, go ahead, uh, Afifa. Something happened in here. I'm not sure what's happening in the mic, but you can hear me. Uh, I, just, uh, I just wanted to um, share exactly from, uh, from Isaiah 20, 62, uh, from that song and also what... Um, uh, Josie said, and it struck me in about the hands of God, but it, what it says in the hands of God in verse 3, he says that, um, I'm just getting it in English here, um, you shall also be um, so beautiful and prosperous as to be thought of as crown of glory and honor in the hand of the Lord and the royal mm -hmm. diamond and in the hand of the Lord, that in the hand of the Lord, no one can snatch that away, the glory, no one can snatch the crown of the Lord. Later on, it says that he, uh, about the hand, which is really is spoke to me in verse 10, when we said we prepared the way and prepared the way to come in. And it, let me read it again. And then I would pray through this. It's just like I'm feeling, we're feeling that we're going to go through, we're going to go through the gate, prepare the way for the for the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, each one of the stones, lift up a standard or reassigned over and for the people. Lord, we just want to thank you as you gather in us and you preparing the way for us to come. And each one of us, we have got the, 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 the theory, the banner, of victory as Elijah won that victory. The banner of victory to go through, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. You have given us a banner of victory because of the truth and the truth of the word said that you are with us, you are ahead of us, you are Father God preparing everything to go through. And Lord Jesus, as we are on that mountain, each one of us will behold you, will behold the glory of God, we will behold the love of God, we will behold what you have got for us. You will grave things in our heart to come and we see the victory just as Elijah won the battle, Father God, just as he laughing, Lord God, you'll be laughing from heaven because your people coming through to win Father God, not to be defeated. And Father God, and we thank you that you cover each one of us by the blood of the Lamb as we as we just Amen. And the Passover, the blood of the Lamb is the sign that the blood of the Lamb, they said, touch no one because they are belong to me. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. And we pray, Lord Jesus, this summer to each one, and especially the one of, on, in, in Israel right now, Lord Jesus, <clears throat> that nothing will happen. No lash back nothing and absolutely nothing but in fact we decree and declare they are going from spirit to spirit from deeper onto deeper from strength to strength and from the glory to glory in the name of yeshua we give you glory and honor and thanks and we are uh, anticipating and we waiting lord jesus knowing that you're going to put the great expectation of your heart into our heart today Bashami Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Afifa. So we have um, one, two, three, four. We have four more people who raised their hands. Try to keep it short. We're going we're gonna to stop with uh, after Elaine speaks. 
and then we're going to go back to to you, Karen, and uh, and Josie and David. So go ahead, Blair. Yeah, and uh, following up what's on my heart and in the spirit as uh, Virginia shared, okay, that there are those that that the God is doing things through Israel and He's doing through through the enemy as well. And it says uh, in, in in Jeremiah that difficult difficult uh, book as I'm going through it, chapter 12, verse 15. It will come about after that, I have outbrooded them, as clearly we know he has. I will again have compassion on them and I will bring them back, each one to his inheritance and each one to his land. Then it will come about that if they will learn the ways of my people to swear by my name as the Lord lives, even as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will be built up in the midst of my people. But if they will not listen, then I will uproot that nation, uproot and destroy it, declares the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Lord, that you are doing a marvelous thing, Lord, and you are righteous and good. You are not partial. You have, have shown the people and the nations, Lord, of thy holiness and thy righteousness, the, the, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. And Lord, I pray that. We pray that over Israel. We pray that, Lord, over their enemies. Lord, that there would be the fear of God to come and to return from their wicked ways. To bless and to say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That that is happening, Lord, that you are opening the eyes of Israel, that you are opening the eyes of the nations, Lord, mm -hmm. that you are saving a remnant. And we pray, Lord, we pray that they would come, that they would turn from their wicked ways, and they would praise your holy name, walking in your ways. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Blair. Go ahead, Hillary. Thank you. Amen. And uh, I, I just had this um, scripture in my heart from the beginning of this call, and it's in line with what um, people have been praying, that these ones that Yahweh is drawing them to himself. Father, we thank you for wholehearted noble ones, those who would say that you are Yahweh and there is none other. This is from Isaiah 45, um, 6 to 8. And that the Lord Yahweh, he has formed the light and created the darkness. He makes peace and he creates calamity. And to know that you, Yahweh, do all these things. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you know all these shakings. You are the creator. You are the orchestrator. You are allowing these things to happen to ultimately bring forth your purpose to bring your kingdoms of this world to become the kingdoms of our God and to bring the kingdom of God into Israel, your covenant land. And you said, rain down, you heavens from above. Let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open. Let them bring forth salvation. Let righteousness spring up together. I, Yahweh, have created it. And we thank you as we've gone through this Pesach week that we know in Romans 5, 17, your amazing grace, that you, Lord Jesus, through going to the cross as the Passover lamb, you have given us your gift of righteousness and your abundance of grace that we may rule and reign in life with you. And we just want to come in absolute humility before you. And thank you for your invitation for every one of us on this journey and every dear one in the land we're going to meet. And that we can just be in absolute awe and wonder of you and exalt your holy name wherever we go and bless those that you will bring across our path. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So good. Thank you, Hillary. Let's go to uh, Bev. Bev, go ahead and unmute yourself. And Psalms uh, 77, 19 and 20, my two favorite verses in the whole world. It echoes, Josie, what you said about the hand of God. He said, I took you out with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. And I believe Moses saw that hand and raised his hand. And it was the hand of his Messiah and King. Your way was through the sea, your path through the great waters. 
yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Father, we thank you for your mighty outstretched arm and your Amen. mighty hand. Lord, I'm praying over all those from the nations who will be coming next week, descending upon Israel, that in the skies, you part the skies for them to come, that you will part the land as they put their feet on the land of Israel and part the way before them and bringing them up to the holy mountain on Mount Carmel. Father, that during that summit, you will part every heavenly unruler principality and power, and you will shatter them as the Melchizedek priesthood comes before you as one body, as one priesthood, standing before you on that mountain, before all the raging terror and anger and thrashing of the nations, that they would be still in the presence of Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. And for the Kehila there who is about to receive them, give them every strength, give them every help from your sanctuary on high and hear, mm -hmm. oh God, your people hear and mm -hmm. answer and save your beloved people, oh God, mm -hmm. in this our day and help us to stand firm in your ways. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Bev. Uh, let's go to Elaine. And then we're going to go back to um, back to you, Karen. Amen. Uh, Isaiah 52, 7 and 8. I want to pray from this. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace. Amen who brings glad tidings of good things, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Your, <laughs> your watchmen shall lift up their voices and with their voices, they shall sing together. So Father, I thank you for bringing all these people to the mountain together. Thank you, God, that as they set their feet on that mountain and declare to Zion, your God reigns, Lord, that you will manifest your presence in a powerful way among them and over Israel. God, manifest your presence in a powerful way. And for those in Israel, those in Jerusalem, your people who don't know you yet, Lord, remove the veil from their eyes so that they see you for who you really are, God, Messiah. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you for the good tidings that, are, that will be brought. God, I thank you for every watchman who will be going, Lord. And I thank you, God, for their travels, mm -hmm. Protect them, draw that hedge of protection around each one who's going, around their families, God, and for the assignments that you've put on their hearts, Lord, um, I just thank you for uh, just speaking your heart to each one who's going, that they will come together in unity and together come into agreement with the things you want to say and do during that season over Israel over Jerusalem. And so I just bless each one, God, as they go. And uh, we just love you, Lord, and thank you for the privilege of being your priests, of being your priests, that we can come before you, Lord, and and just take the things from your heart and just uh, receive and then release them over the land and over the people, God. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Elaine. All right, uh, Karen and Josie, yes. and David yes. back to you. Hallelujah. Wow. Um, thank you so much, everybody, so far. <laughs> There's, there, um, hallelujah. Um, Bev mentioned the Melchizedek uh, priesthood, and Elaine, you just echoed it. Um, it's, it's in our vision statement. I don't remember. Susan Rowe, did we, did we post that vision statement on the signal groups? Uh, I think you might have. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, no. I, I thought maybe I would reread it again. Um, right I, now, I, and I think you should post it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Well. Could you please? And, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. So could you please post? Yeah, it? I'll put it in the, in our signal groups. Um, but I want to say that um, 
first of all, uh, we greatly appreciate uh, your prayer for health and strength for our whole team here. Uh, there's several people on the call. I think Pam Singer, I see Pam here, and I don't know if Renee is on, Colleen. Um, we're, we're really kind of shouldering <laughs> We've been going uh, pretty nonstop with the admin, as I know, Susan, you are on your end. We are on our end also. Sure. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, Pam uh, Pam Singer handles our, our is going to oversee the uh, the the administration of the meals, and we are going to be, you know, feeding 350 people at lunch on both days. Um, actually, I mean, the whole size of this has kind of uh, mushroomed from our initial ideas, <laughs> and we've closed the registration. And so at this point, uh, and this is what I want to talk about, the Melchizedek priesthood, um, uh, there's, I think there's about 200 internationals coming, and we have um, 150 local people coming. From a lot of them are from our own congregation, um, but they're also from different different places in the land. And uh, and Rania Sayag is going to be uh, giving a message on. There's one evening in the summit. It's it's Thursday night, and that is going to be also the night where it many more of the locals will just come who weren't able to come to the, you know to the the, the morning sessions because they're working, and. Um, we're we're planning to uh, have the Lord's Supper, and our our pastor Danny, uh, born you know Israeli Jew, and an Arab pastor from Haifa um, is are going to administer the um, the the Lord's Supper that night, and we will be standing together with all of you from the nations as a, a remnant of the body of Jews and Arabs in the land, and um, I don't know I I. Susan, you said something about um, earlier about, you know, the body needing to be equipped and strengthened for the days ahead. And I, I want to believe that God is going to do something supernatural in to unite us in a deeper way than we've ever been united, and that it will have an influence on on the rest of the body because it, you know, it's not. There are many, many people who are not coming from the local body, but we're going to stand as a remnant in the unity that we have as the Melchizedek priesthood. Um, and uh, and, and I, I pray that we, we will, it will launch us into a new season as being that royal priesthood in the land. Um, standing in the gap for our people. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's, there, you know, there, are, uh, there are many, you know, initiatives along this line, but but this is a coming together with the strength of all of you from the nation. So I'm going to just read the statement, then Pam Singer, I'll ask you to open uh, open the prayer. Um, I'm hearing a lot of noise. Can you hear noise from my, no? Okay, it's just on my end. Okay, here's the, the summit vision as we've, we've really sought the Lord, uh, and I, I believe it encompasses the various things that Lord will do while we're together. At this time of intense turmoil and existential threat to the nation of Israel, the spirit of Elijah prophetic summit is a strategic convening of the one new man of Jews and Gentiles standing before the Lord as a Melchizedek priesthood on top of Mark Carmel in prophetic praise and worship proclamation and prayer. In the authority released through our unity in Yeshua, we will make known to the principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of God, Ephesians 3.10, for the tearing down of strongholds, for releasing breakthroughs, for an outpouring of the Spirit of God, and calling forth sons and daughters into the kingdom of God. As nations rage, God is releasing the spirit of Elijah upon his body as a restorative force on the earth. And as Isaiah 62 watchmen who will watch over his covenant purposes for Israel, the Middle East, and the nations. Amen. So Pam, do you want to unmute? and? Uh, <clears throat> the Lord gave me, while we were praying, uh, Habakkuk 3 from verse 10. The mountains saw you and trembled. The overflowing of the water passed. It passed by. The deep uttered its voice and lifted its hands on high. It's a little bit of water and hands. And, and it was like lots of things that the Lord was saying already. The sun and moon, they stood still in their habitation. At the light of your arrows, they went. At the shining of your glittering spear, you marched through the land in indignation, 
You trampled the nations in anger. You went forth for the salvation of your people, for salvation with your anointed. You struck the head from the house of the wicked by laying bare from foundation to neck. <clears throat> the, the voice uh, of the Lord spoke from the deep. He saw the mount. He says, the mountains saw you and trembled. And it, I, the Lord just quickened to me that the mountains are going to see those who come in and, and join us on the mountain. And they're going to tremble when they see what God is, has gathered in the <laughs> hearts of his people and, and on, on their tongues uh, and, their, and in, in their spirits, what they're carrying with them to bring up to the mountain of the Lord. I have great expectation. But the beautiful thing, the, the deep uttered its voice and lifted its hands. We truly want to see the, the hand of the Lord uh, raised, uh, lifted high, not just raised, lifted high in, in, in our midst in the time. And a lot, we want to hear his voice in a clear fashion, unmistakably, that, it, that it's his voice near, clear, and, and vivid, vividly speaking in this hour and for this season of our life. Lord, we, wanna, uh, we want to carry with us um, <clears throat> your burden as we walk into next week. Lord, we want to come whole with, with the finisher anointing on everybody <clears throat> who is involved, those who are our, we've set our hands to the wheel, uh, to the plow, and we're working to see that it happens. We want to have the finisher anointing to come all the way through, Lord. We pray also for those who travel, that even in their traveling, their, it, your travel would be eased, and they would arrive uh, even refreshed and ready for all that you desire to do. Lord, I pray that your might and your power might be seen and understood uh, your your voice uh, might be heard even out of the deep, and Lord, let your hand and and your voice be lifted high in our midst. I pray, O oh God, B'shem Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Josie, why don't you go ahead because we're getting close to the yeah, end. Yeah, um, there was just two things I wanted very quickly share. I, I realize what the time is. There's a very interesting scripture. You can well, actually, it's. I didn't find it in my English version, which is the new King, the revised New King James version. I just happened to see it in the Hebrew that I was reading the other day when I was just reading all about the, you know, the Passover story and the hand of God. Uh, it's in Exodus 17 and verse six, um, fifth, Exodus 17 verses 15 and 16. 15 is the one that I already declared about the Lord being um, um, my, our miracle. Um, then it goes on to say, for the hand is on the throne of God. And I've never seen this ever written in the English, in my version anyway, and I've usually had the same translation for many decades. So, and then when I went to the Hebrew to check it, there it was written, Bidiuk, exactly word for word in Hebrew, these words, for the hand is on the throne of God. And I really loved this. I felt this was very powerful. I felt it saying that God's hand, it's on his throne and he Nothing can happen while his hand is on that throne to Israel anyway. And but he lifts it and puts it forth when he wants to do great and miraculous things like redeem and save his people. And the, uh, the other one, the other scripture, no, it's, it's now coming into um, people from the nations coming up. I just wanted to quickly read this and very briefly pray into it from Jeremiah 31 and yeah, verse 12. Therefore they, you, all of you people from the nations, shall come and sing in the height of Zion. In this case, you're going to come up and sing in the height of Mount Carmel, or a mountain of the Lord, streaming to the goodness of Adonai. And there you will receive wheat, new wine, and oil. And I believe there are two dynamics that happen when people come from the nations. You come to us, you stand with us, but you also deposit something and you impart something into the soil of our ground, but also into the spiritual realm as well. 
because God's a generous God and he's not a one-sided God, he doesn't just expect you to come into the, here's a promise for each of you. And I want you to take this and expect this when you come, God said, when you come up to the mountain of the Lord, streaming to his goodness, you will receive wheat, wine mm. and oil. And I translate Amen. wheat as the word of God, that you will receive new revelation from the word of God. You will have, you will receive more oil or more anointing, a freshness and filling of the Holy Spirit. And the uh, oil and the um, wine is joy, that there will be a new joy. I just want you to come. Pam said the word expectation. I have great expectation as well for what God is going to do in our time together. But you coming from the nations, expect God to reward you speak to you and give you these things wheat wine and oil so have i just proclaim and declare your word over those coming that are sacrificing to come i know they're coming with joy and um a willingness and an obedience to come but i pray that there will be rich rich blessings for each and every one unique to what you want to give them of wheat wine and oil in your presence to, to take back with them, not just for themselves, but to also be able to pass it on to others of what they've witnessed, what they've seen, what they've gleaned, and to go back and continue to be a voice piece with the newness of all that God will give them. Vashem Yeshua. Amen. Karen, are you there? Yeah, I am there. Um, I think Susan Rowe, you have something to close with. Um, I, I just have a, <clears throat> a quick um, prayer request for us all as a body and as an ecclesia, as a remnant, <laughs> um, that as we go into Israel, as a, as a small team of us goes into Israel, that the rest of the body continues to build the wall. That they all do not drop their their weapons or their or their shields or their instruments of war, but continue to contend, and that um, we as a team, would you please pray that we communicate with everybody that we're supposed to communicate with? <laughs> it's an administrative thing that the, the enemy doesn't use as uh, use it as a tool of offense, um, and you know division. So um, I, that's that's the thing that I that from an administrative point I would really value prayers for and grant us extreme grace if we don't cross every T or dot every I because we may very well it's out of the goodness of our hearts that we are doing this as with the best stewardship possible. So I extend the throne of grace over us all. <laughs> May yeah. God um, extend, his, extend his throne of grace over us all. And the last thing I wanted to say is to this verse that you just uh, spoke out, um, Jeremiah 31, 31. Isn't that a number? 31 through 34. That is the crossover that we're at. He's calling us into a new covenant that we can all be a part of. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I would just encourage us all to read that and going into that summit. And back to you, Karen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, you know, Karen, I- maybe, Karen, maybe pray for the weather. Yes, who's that speaking? I can't see who it is. Dahlia. No. <laughs> Dahlia. Oh, you just changed the name on your- uh, Oh, no, it's because of the China channel. Just pray for the weather. Yes, 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 yes. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are in control. You, even the, the winds and the waves obey you, Lord. And we pray for supernaturally good, clear skies uh, and uh, warm temperatures enough that we can be comfortable outside. And um, Lord, that we will be able to accomplish everything that you have uh, have called us to do uh, during those days. We thank you. Uh, and Lord, we, we believe you to forge us together, the locals and the internationals, the local leaders, the international leaders, um, Lord, that, that you would uh, by your spirit 
uh, the love of God would be shed abroad in our hearts one to another, Lord, and uh, you'll be strengthening the bonds of fellowship. And I just want to echo, Pam, you had a, when you were speaking about um, that there would be a clear word coming forth. We want to bind the hand of the enemy that would try to cut across that. And um, Lord, there are going to be many, many people with everyone wanting to say something. And we just pray that your spirit will rule and reign over this whole and the voices that you want to come forth will come forth. Oh, God, you will silence the enemy in our midst, but you will release the true word of the Lord in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I think Amen. we're good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we've done it. Is there someone to have a closing prayer or was that it? Um, <laughs> Brad, you know, I'll, 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 uh, Karen, I'll just I'll close this off in prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just um, uh, I put in the chat, John 17, 20 to 22. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word that they all may be one as you, Father, uh, yes. are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. So Father, we thank you for that, for that uh, incredible uh, prayer that, um, that we will be one, that the, that the internationals coming together will be one with the Israelis, both Jew and Gentile, and that, um, that there will be incredible, amazing relationships formed and mm -hmm. strengthened. That that this will um, this will carry us on be, way beyond the summit, and that this will be we are believing the start of a uh, perhaps a new annual type of get together uh, on Mount Carmel. I don't want to prophesy ahead of of where you are, Lord, but I just we're just believing that that we're we're gonna we're not gonna be able to help ourselves. That we're gonna love have so much love for each other that we're gonna want to get together on a regular, <laughs> regular basis. And so we just say, thank you, Lord. Let the joy of the Lord Hallelujah. be our strength. Woo! And um, we are expecting great things. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Everybody at each cell is waiting for each other. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.